Well good morning Simmers, this is going to be somewhat different to my normal videos. Um, I'm going to attempt <laughs> an upgrade of prepared 3D um, using the recommended method by Lockheed Martin um, and we'll see whether it works now the first thing I'm going to do is show you the original P3D version 3 working so I'm going to pick an airport with the 737 <clears throat> let's go Norwegian Air Shuttle because I'm going to go to Norway which is uh, Orbix scenery with the uh, Orbix 3D trees and Ento will be the airport which is an Aerosoft airport I have installed Okay, so this is prepared version 3. As you can see, I'm also using reshade. OK, I'll be back when it's loaded. Hi again, so here we are in the PMDG 737 at uh, Torp, which is uh, EMTO in Norway. Uh, the airport is Aerosoft and the uh, scenery, as you can see, is Orbit Norway with their 3D trees. So this is version 3 and I'm now going to attempt to update to version 3.1. See you again soon. Hi again, um, here we are back on the desktop and first and foremost just browse over this list of add-ons that I have in uh, P3D it might help yourselves um, if you have any similar add-ons so um, we've got UT Europe, Orbix Norway, Orbix 3D Trees, Earth Simulations, Isle of Man, Earth Simulations Guernsey, the 737 PMDG, the Aerosoft Airbus, the Majestic, uh, GSX, uh, Opus uh, which I use for weather and cameras and yes I also have ASN which um, I switch between now and again um, Rex 4 with soft clouds Ultimate Traffic 2 with the 2015 schedules a uh, couple of UK 2000 airports and a uh, couple of Aerosoft airports which includes the one we've just seen um, Avalosoft EFB, Navigraph Airax I use, uh, and Precipit uh, Immersion, A320 Immersion, and the new 737 Immersion. Okay, those are my list of add ons. And now to the installation. Okay, from what I can understand when you download the uh, the client now this was a uh, the big download the 9 gig download and as you can see you've got four installers you've got the setup which would be for a full install and you've then got the three individual client content and scenery installers now as far as I can make out the two that we're going to install today for the upgrade will be the client and the content. Now according to the instructions from 
Lockheed Martin we need to uninstall the client and the content so here goes nothing hi again well as you can see I've uninstalled the client which leaves the content and scenery um, I thought long and hard about this uh, as to whether to uninstall the client and then reinstall the new one and then uninstall content and then install the new one but I've decided uh, to uninstall both and then install client and content together so we'll uninstall the content now as well okay as you can see I've uninstalled both client and content from version 3 and that just leaves the actual main installation which is 28.4 gigabyte and the scenery installation which is 11 gigabyte um, definitely would not advise touching your scenery installation if like me you've got a few add-ons <coughs> so we'll start with the let's install the content first as we installed that uninstalled that last you might have noticed that I'm using uh, Windows 10 as well but this will okay that obviously needs the client installed first I would imagine that's um, pretty obvious when you think about it right now this is important you must point to your installation and mine is um, is not in the uh, it's just in the C directory it's not in um, there it is actually let me just double check that Lockheed Martin prepared 3D okay do okay that's the client installed reinstalled there you go and the content should install with no problems now I'm assuming the uh, content install has taken the info from the registry so it knows where it should go fingers crossed okay we're almost done the content has taken a bit longer to install which uh, I expected but the whole installation process for the upgrade is maximum 15 minutes at the most okay so that is the upgrade process finished now as you can see we're back to the client and the content the scenery and the actual install has not been touched so quick word to the wise um, for those of you that like to hedge your bets don't delete version 3 because it's no longer available on the uh, Lockheed Martin website so if you want to hedge your bets keep that folder there 
with the old installation. OK, the moment of truth has arrived. We will use the new shortcut to start as administrator. I'm also assuming this is, if it starts, going to ask for um, my serial numbers again, which I will obviously cut the video for. There we go. So I'm going to cut the video now while I uh, activate, and then I'll be back very shortly, hopefully, with the um, new version. And there you go, activation successful and prepared appears to be starting <coughs> ultimate traffic to initialized okay I know that there's a problem with the object flow so um, I won't be running this and yes prepare 3d does take this long to start on my machine I've got a lot of AI in there plus the tweak that um, I forget the name of it now let me have a quick look week in question is optimize parts and from what I can make out that um, it optimizes the 3d objects the scenery the aircraft and it does that before it actually starts that's uh, from the off the top of my head that's what happens that's why it takes a bit longer to load um, prepared okay so here we go Norwegian air shuttle you notice reshade is still working so far Okay, that appears to be okay. So we're using the uh, 737 Norwegian shuttle, and the airport will be ENTO. E N T O. Same gate, number 10. Okay, reset to system time, and away we go. <coughs> Actually, I seem to have more VAS available on this uh, version at the start. There's Reshade kicking in. <coughs> Always get a black screen to start with, that's nothing to worry about especially with the um, PMDG 
Opus seems to start okay. And there are the cameras kicking in. What I haven't noticed is the um, 